Hey guys, quick tip for you. I was reviewing my video today about uh, navigation features and map features, and I went across a couple. I came across a couple videos that explained bypass switches and how to bypass the uh, motion parking brake ordeal that uh, in essentially the system comes stock that in order to access some navigation features and uh, DVD movie features and things of that nature that you had to uh, purchase a bypass switch and wire that in and da 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 da, -da and spend money when, when in fact you don't. Uh, I do know that this works with the 8200, the 8100, the 7100, the 7200. I haven't verified it on other units. But uh, let's go over it. Pretty simple thing. Um, now, right now, I do have mine set to on, meaning that I don't need to have the parking brake and I don't have to be in park in order to access those features. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up our screen, go to our main, hit AV. We're going to go to off. As soon as this screen appears, we're going to hit the quadrant a half inch up and a half inch in. And we're going to press and hold our finger there for approximately 10 to maybe 12 seconds and you're gonna see set off come up see that set off uh, now that means if set off actually means that you have to have the parking brake on and you have to be in park in order to access those features if you want to access those features while in motion although I don't condone it but if your passenger wanted to access those menus as you're traveling down the freeway at 75, I don't see why they couldn't. Half inch up, half inch in, hold. 10 to 15 seconds uh, until you see set on. There it is. So set on now means that when you're in motion, you have all your access in the world to your navigation, to your DVD, to everything, uh, everything while in motion. So that's it, guys. Quick tip. Don't spend money. Don't get fooled by these people that are making YouTube videos trying to make money.